It may look like something out of Doctor Who, but this robot is being controlled by a real doctor. Meet the RoboDoc. Hi, Austin. How are you? Good morning, Charlie. Okay. Charlie McAllister is an intensive care specialist. This hospital in Newry doesn't have an intensive care unit. So Dr McAllister is 25 miles away at a different hospital. But he can still speak to patients. Are you comfortable? Are you a bit sore? The new technology has just been introduced. But is it simply a cost-cutting exercise? Officials at the Department of Health in Northern Ireland say no. They claim it's a way of making the most of a doctor's time, and even some of the medical sceptics have been won over. When I heard first, I had my reservations, but having seen it in action, I think it's a, it's a real benefit to the care of, of patients who are unstable. But what's been the reaction from patients about having to deal with a medical machine that looks more like a Dalek than a doctor? There are over 600 of these um, um, around the world, and the experience is people have accepted them remarkably well. The robots may not have a doctor's traditional bedside manner, but for some patients, old habits die hard. Ashling McVeigh, BBC News.